I came to the GSB back in 2003 from England originally, so I worked in the UK and Europe for about five, six years before coming to business school. A move from the internet scene in Europe to the major leagues of the internet in Silicon Valley. If you're an actor or actress, Hollywood is the place where you want to go because that's where it's all happening. And as a one-time software entrepreneur in Europe, that's how I felt about the Silicon Valley. So it was my dream to come here, Silicon Valley, and start a tech company here. And GSB seemed like an amazing stepping stone to actually accomplish that. After spending the first year at Stanford, myself and a few classmates were looking for somewhere to live. And I started looking online, which seemed to be the place that I go for most decisions, whether it's buying an airplane ticket or buying an iPod. And I was astounded at the lack of information around this pretty big decision where you choose to live. And that inspired me to think about, OK, how could this be transformed by technology? Trulia is different than any other real estate website. Trulia provides information on real estate. You can look at listings, you can see them on a map, and with one click you can contact the real estate agent or the property manager. At Trulia, we don't want to help people just find information on property. We want to find the right home for them. And that's understanding property information as well as crime information. What's it like to live in that neighborhood? So we've overlay crime information with property information so you can visually see it on a map. The second year of business school, 2004-2005, this Stanford Business School class, S356, Startup Garage, was very much instrumental in launching Trulia. So Pete and myself, we got into the class and it's a wonderful opportunity to go from zero to 60 miles an hour as an entrepreneur, as a founder, over just two semesters. I remember the day we graduated, the very next Monday, we had meetings with top name VCs looking for investments. So we had a lot of the pieces of the puzzle figured out before we graduated. In June 2005, it was three of us, myself, my co-founder Pete, and Luis, a computer scientist from Stanford who were working out of basically a corner of Stanford Business School Library. And today, we are a publicly traded company with hundreds and hundreds of employees, significant revenues, and I'd like to say nationally recognized brand. Time after time after time, I've realized that if you dream, and if you dream big, it's actually the first necessary step in making dreams happen. The most difficult decision that any entrepreneur faces is the very first one, which is to actually burn the lifeboats and go for it. If you think of technology and you think of entrepreneurship, you think of Silicon Valley. And you look at the companies that come out of Silicon Valley, they often come out of Stanford. And Stanford is at the epicenter of a global technology and entrepreneurship revolution.